Well, uncovered the movie hit our big screens this weekend. It's a movie that tells the story of a brave young female journalist who takes on a corrupt mining boss. Well, with us on the desk today is film director Zuko Nododa and actor and producer Tandeka Nodada. Uh, good afternoon, guys, and thank you so much for your time on the SABC News Desk. Thank, thank, thank you so for much. having us. Uh, Zuko, let's start with you. Do you want to share with us a brief overview of the movie, of course, without giving too much away, that is? Yeah, how can I put it without <laughs> giving too much away? Okay, it is a simple story of um, a young woman who's working in a corporate world, um, mining world. It's a coal mining company, mm. and she works for Frank Drake, who's the CEO of the company. And she believes that one day she's going to take over as the CEO of the company, as promised by Frank Drake, who's the CEO. But she doesn't know that she's being led into the web of corruption mm. that is taking place in the mine and in the community. And it is when her sister Pumla dies that she realizes that the people of Somkele are being sold a dream and that there's just too much going on in terms of corruption. Mm -hmm. uh, it really starts to sound that it actually mirrors our current reality in South Africa last now, uh, right now. I, I just want to hear from you, Zuko, uh, what prompted you uh, to tell a story of this nature. Uh, I read somewhere that you attended the SAFTAs and that's where you, you discovered that there was no category for best actress in a feature film. Yes, I did. And that is when I decided, because I already had the story in my mind. Yes. So it evolved a number of times. But, but when I came back from the SAFTAs, I made a decision that the protagonist, the protagonist is going to be a woman. And of course, being produced by a woman, she brought into the idea yes. with ease. And that is why the film was led by a woman. Yes. But where the story comes from, it has evolved as well. Uh, it started with me reading a lot about the King of Oil, mm -hmm. with all the embargoes going on. Mm -hmm. That's Mark Rich. But automatically when you read about Mark Rich, it takes you mm -hmm. to Glencoe, and you read mm -hmm. about the famous Ivan Glassenbeck. But that immediately takes you to the copper mines in Zambia. And that's where you realize that there's a lot of exploitation going on there. Yes. Black people being exploited in those mines, child labor as well. Yes. And it automatically took me down to Newcastle, like right under our noses, yes. where this is happening. And when we went to Newcastle, we realized as well that there's a lot of black people that work in open pit mines that have never been rehabilitated and digging deeper. Uh, we also realize that there's a lot of themes that are interesting mm. in this story that we can explore. Themes about the state capture, themes about land expropriation without compensation, and, 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 and a lot. So that, that is where the story came from. We'll come back to those issues you've highlighted, Zuko. Tandeka, do you want to tell us how you fit into the whole story, a little bit about your role and the character development, of course? Okay, so I play the journalist. Yes. So I, uh, I want to expose Frank Drake because I find proof that he wants to give a mine, a worthless mine to the community of Somkel. So when I have proof, then I am killed. But in the movie, I keep on talking to my sister who works for Frank Drake, trying to get her to just buy into the story and see what I've done. So that's how I fit in. Mm. But also I produce the film. I, I want to hear, Tandeka, we're just wrapping up Women's Month. Yes. Uh, what are some of the challenges uh, when it comes to females or women working in the film industry in South Africa at this juncture? Right now, we are not given the chance and the opportunity. It's not that we cannot do it, but there's just no opportunity. And I think it's time right now that they trust us because <coughs> we also have the same experiences yes. as the guys. Yes. So it's just a matter of opportunity and trust. Mm -hmm. uh, and Zuko, you feel strongly that women or females should be given uh, more meaningful roles in the film industry. Uh, what are some of the barriers? Is it just comes down to decision making uh, by male directors? Yeah, you know, this is complex and I always talk about it and people don't understand me. So when I say it's complex, there's, a, there's, a, there's an organization that fights for women rights in the film industry, mm. SWIFT. Uh, my observation with SWIFT, and this is not a criticism, was that mm -hmm. it's run by women, but sometimes it is these women that hire us as males to come and lead their mm -hmm. firms, whereas they can make these decisions easily and hire their women counterparts. But in, on my side as well, 
I feel it is as easy as just making that decision because talent is talent. Talent yes. has no gender. Yes. Talent has no color. If someone is talented and they deserve, they are deserving, they just need to be given a, an opportunity. It's as simple as that. Um, you mentioned some of those serious issues a short while ago and uh, issues like land, like illegal coal mining, uh, culture, etc. Uh, how are these issues resonating with South African audiences right now? You had the premiere on Friday. No, they are, and I'm happy because when we engage in social media, people feel that it is the right time mm. to be telling these stories, to be engaging with these stories, to be raising these issues. Because I don't think there is a wrong or a right time. We just need to do it. We just need to start talking about it because then it will move us forward as a country mm. and it will ensure that we are in control of our future. Yes. Because if we keep running away from these issues, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So we just need to deal with them now and dealing with them with level heads so that no one gets hurt in the process, so that we are still intact as a country when we finally reach uh, a meaningful solution and a goal. Mm -hmm. uh, Tandeka, you are our producer of this movie. Just tell me what you took away uh, from this journey of yours, just as per your personal experience. Firstly, I realized that I can actually do the work. It, mm. it just needed, I needed a chance. It needed confidence. Mm. And just, you know, when you're doing it and you're believing it, people can really rally behind you and just support you. So I really felt supported in this process. And I just believe more and more women should be given a chance. Like he's saying, uh, I jumped into the story when I realized that it's going to be led by women. Yes. Not just weak women, strong women, because we are raised by strong women. Yes. We really relate to the stories you know so this is the time mm -hmm. it was indeed refreshing to see a strong female protagonist come yes. through but Zuko there were challenges around funding I understand this project was in the pipeline for three or four years already no we always have challenges when it comes to funding and even if it's coming um, it takes time yes. um, and I always say um, I don't know if I'm gonna be in trouble by for saying this but I always say that the problem is that these film funding organizations mm. are run by sometimes people that don't really have interest in filmmaking. Mm. To them it's just a job. You know yes. what I mean? And they don't understand uh, what needs to be done and when it needs to be done and the swiftness of, 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 of the process. Because waiting as well sometimes can even outdate your story. Yeah. We had this story uh, like three years ago and if we had produced it at that time, it would have been a perfect premonition yes. of what is happening right now. Yes. You know what I mean? It wouldn't feel like we are copying and pasting from a newspaper headline. Yes. Because we had this idea three years ago. But we can only tell the story What in your mind, Zuko, now. can expedite the process, can speed up the process for us? We need to be engaged properly as filmmakers. Mm. And I think we need to be involved in decision making. Yes. Right now, we are spectators sitting on the sidelines, mm -hmm. waiting for people to make decisions for us. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, I feel like they, 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 uh, they think they know what we want as mm -hmm. filmmakers and how things need to be run for filmmakers without really sitting down and engaging and understanding the process and understanding what needs to be done for these stories to keep rolling. And that is why we are producing one or two films in six months. If yes. you go to the box office in South Africa in, in October or in November, mm. I tell you now, there won't be a local movie mm. because they are few and far in between. Mm. And it's because people don't understand what needs to be done and when and how. Mm. Tandeka, you had the big premiere on Friday, I believe, in Rosebank. What was yeah. the response to that premiere? It was great. We had about 400 people there. Mm. So it's our industry peers, it's our funders. So it was great to hear a great feedback. People love the movie. So we just want them to support now and just have bums on the seat. But it was a great premiere. Thank you guys for your time on the SABC News Desk. I'm afraid we'll have to leave.